Tonight, a North Dakota woman accused of poisoning her long-term boyfriend with antifreeze as part of an alleged plot to inherit part of a $30 million fortune. According to an arrest affidavit, Ina Thea Knoyer told police 51-year-old Stephen Riley Jr. had been drinking all day and had heat stroke after he fell ill and lost consciousness on September 3rd. The affidavit says Knoyer's friends told police she had made comments about wanting to poison him before. And then an autopsy showed ethylene glycol in Riley's system, a key ingredient in antifreeze. We had received phone calls from some of the victim's friends who told us that uh, they believed that he was possibly poisoned by Ina. So uh, we started the investigation at that point. According to the University of Florida Health, antifreeze, which is used in car radiators, is colorless, odorless, and can even taste sweet, making it easy to disguise in drinks. Authorities say traces of the substance were found inside the couple's home. There were a couple containers. One was a Windex bottle. The other one was a beer bottle. Believed to have uh, antifreeze in them. According to the affidavit, friends say that Riley believed he was about to inherit $30 million and told them he was going to leave Knoyer, who believed she was owed part of the money because she had been with him for 10 years. There was a belief that if he wasn't in the picture, that she would be entitled to any settlement money uh, through that common law marriage. That kind of changed as the, the investigators informed her that we don't have common law marriage in North Dakota. Police also revealing there may have been no money after all. Yeah, everything that we have indicates that it, that, that settlement doesn't exist. There wasn't a, a long lost rich relative or any other type of settlement that would lead to $30 million going in the direction of, of the victim. But that was the belief. Uh, both parties believe that and um, had discussed it with friends, discussed it with family members. This is just the latest case in a string of alleged poison plots. Connor Bowman, a former Mayo Clinic doctor, in court today on second-degree murder charges for the death of his wife, Betty Bowman. Prosecutors have accused him of poisoning her with a drug to treat gout in an alleged effort to claim $500,000 from a life insurance policy. I'm going to turn out a tech. And in Utah, Corey Richens awaiting trial for allegedly poisoning her husband with fentanyl for life insurance money before she wrote a children's book about grief. She has denied those allegations. As for Knoyer, her bail has been set at $1 million and she will be arraigned on December 7th. If convicted, she faces life in prison without parole. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.